願いします。OK、So、Today、You r e g o i n g to do some workout what I have learned almost 20 years ago in the sports university. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got, I'm just、uh, starting. Oh, no, I have to tell differently. This week I had、uh, first time e learning courses with、uh, students from the Edmund School. From next week,、uh, the university starts again, the Deutsche Sporthochschule, where I'm also teaching for the first weeks via internet. <laughs> What's quite strange because then it's, of course, only theoretical parts. But、um, in the acting school, we did also work out in front of the camera、uh, by having a Zoom meeting so I could see what the people were doing. And because it is an interesting kind of workout that we have done there,、um, we just do that today. And you will be the dummy <laughs> to learn it. And everybody at home has something to work on because it's very good for. Let's say、uh, the flexibility and the strength and the basic mobility of your center and your spine, including that it costs a lot of energy、uh, holding some positions while we're working on the ground. And、um, also,、um, it is a good stretching, especially for the, the legs and the sides structure of the upper body. So,、uh, we call that, or we called that at that time when I learned it, Bewegungsstudie.、Mm. I, I cannot translate that、uh, to English term, what, is, what fits. But, but it's a kind of、uh, series of several positions where we walk through. And、um, yeah, they are all somehow、uh, combined so that the transfer from one to the next position gives. Some certain、uh, stretching or holding the position gives some certain stretching, or it costs some、uh, power so you can strengthen your center muscles and your back muscles. So that's a total program for, let's say, being more mobile in the, in the core. I think it's called、um, functional movement. Yeah, it could be like that. It has parts of that. Actually, I have, I have to say at that point, I have learned that kind of、um, practices. By my former professor,、um, Gabriele m a c r o n She's、uh, been in the、uh, University of Sports here in Cologne for many years, one of the professors in the Institute for Moving and Arts, Movement Arts. I, I don't know if it's the exact term in、uh, German, it is different. And、uh, she was a great teacher. She always was a teacher for Feldenkrais. And for dance and for gymnastics. And、um, well, that was the time when I was young. But since I learned that, I used it for many years in teachings in、uh, the acting school. And、um, it gives、uh, people who would study that or would practice that a chance to build up much more、uh, flexibility and also、uh, power from the center around the center body. So it's very good, very healthy. And everybody can do that. So, we are in,、uh, in an advantage as always because we have space. You need probably around yourself like four to five square meters of space, and、um, yeah, therefore, we can just practice here. At home, you should find a nice spot on the ground. Well, I show first, I go through one time, s and I probably,、uh, I maybe. Tell a little bit about the situation and how it feels, and then I'm going to teach you that so you can follow the teaching or already see what we are doing, and then you have an idea of what's going on. Okay? So, probably I start here. I will take a little space to that direction. So, if you come, come a little bit there where the audience is watching from, then you don't need to go outside of the picture if you want to come from inside. So it starts with the situation that we are lying flat on the stomach. So in this position, I put my feet close, like、um, the joints of the hip bones are apart from each other. So not too wide, not too small, just as far as the joints of the hip bones are apart. And I stretch my feet. So then I put my hand shoulder wide to the front and I try to. 
be very straight what's interesting because sometimes you may be lying like that and you cannot uh, feel that so that's one of the parts so my forehead is on the ground as well as the back of my nose from this position where I stretch out completely I open up to this position I don't let my foot hang down so I have to roll it out and then I move my arms to one side and the other side and to the first side again so here I try to round sideways my upper body so my spine is going round it to the right side now I start sliding my arm over the ground and turn around to this position where my arms go diagonal to the room left and right. My knee comes down and my shoulder as well. So here I'm stretching actually the um, gluteus maximus and medius quite much. And of course the autochthone muscles around my spine. Here I try to sink down my shoulder as well as my knee as much as possible. If we have done, if we have done that for two weeks every day, 10 minutes, then you can put down your knee and your shoulder at the same point, same time. What I can now, because I haven't practiced that for many years. So from here, now I start to stretch out my leg to the opposite side and pull back my upper body to this position. And I do the same on the other side. So I slide the arm around and I come to this position where I try to bring down the shoulder and the knee at the same time. Here I stretch out to the diagonal position. So all my body is in a wrench. And I go back from the feet. I take my hips and bring my shoulder. Now I come on my right side, left side. And I try to put my legs above each other and hold my arms above each other. Perfect parallel. I don't know if I do sometimes. We feel we are parallel, but we are not. My back is straight. And I'm on the shoulder. So I hold my head and watching my arm being, being brought to the other side. So now I follow with the leg, hold it a little bit and come up to sit. I'm still on the picture, please. Yes. Here I try to stretch my leg far up so that I can sit upright and I stretch my arms. From there I try to round the lower back and come down and lie myself down on the ground. Here I try to put down the um, lower vertebrae as well on the ground. And now I can come up to sit in position where my foot is balanced out, my upper body to the front. So I can stretch my upper body completely and not fall to the back. And I open up my hand and try to open to the back. Here at that point, there's a lot of stretching and also same time you have to hold. And I go back, put down the feet and try to hang my arms as if I would be in Hollywood's auto. And I come back and put the other side up, hold the balance and open up. Now I take the second leg up, so I'm hovering and I put down the hand, roll over my foot to my back and pull the knees to the chest. Here I stretch out my heels, turn a little bit left side, bring down the feet very slowly parallel to the ground. Just before they're touching, I take them up again, turn it around to the right side, all your abdomen and your side, front stomach muscles will be working a lot. Now, I take a little energy and come back into the, this kind of position, so like a small package. From here, I come up, stretch my back, put my arms aside so I would be a perfect table. And I stand up and stretch out very long to this position. Now I lean backwards, rotate and sit on side where I want to have my knees, my hips, and my shoulder axis in one level. And I stretch and bring the same to the other side. And here I'm actually stretching very much the intercostalis muscles and the side, lower muscles. And on the other side, I have to shrink in that part. 
And if I sit wrongly, this doesn't stretch up. But if I sit perfect in one level, then it's very intense. Now I rotate again and I bring the legs to the back. Put myself on the ground and start shifting one leg above the other to the side. So I sit up in this position where we have 90 degrees angle between arms and legs as well. My back is straight. I will take further. And here I want to stretch the four muscles, the, four, the front muscles of my upper leg by leaving it as long as possible on the ground and also a bit of biceps femoris on the back side of the other leg is stretch a lot. So we come down and put ourselves here. And we're back the same to the other side. Hold the legs as long as possible on the plate and then come back to this position where we go via the second position to close like in the beginning. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that was all. <laughs> easy. It's easy. <laughs> but it costs energy for sure. And then we have uh, several options how to practice. For instance, now I did it very slowly to explain and to show the single position. <clears throat> but we also could go very fast from position to position, what has done, um, um, how to say, training effect for the cardiovascular system, mm -hmm. or we hold it even longer in the certain position, where we'll give a lot of, uh, of course, a lot of energy for the big muscles we has to hold and at the same time stretch the antagonists. Mm -hmm. So, depending on how many times we repeat, in which tempo, it has lots of opportunities. And as you will feel, if you do that for one week, I promise you, if you do that for one week, every day 10 minutes, it will change your mobility uh, fundamentally. Cool. Yeah, it is true. The rotation around the core will be much better. I haven't done that for many years, but I remember when I was doing that and I had to practice that, I was really surprised how easy you can change your body situation. So, it's on you now. I'm going to tell you what to do. I'm going to lead you by words what to do, okay? Sometimes okay. maybe I give you a little bit help by putting to you yeah. uh, if you're in the right position. I would do like me, yeah. You start with your head towards the camera. Maybe it's unpolite for a sense, I'm sorry, to show you your feet, but in that case, you have a better position. And please, uh, come a little bit to my uh, side. So that you have, you started from the way. Okay. So what I see now, and that's very interesting, your hands are perfectly placed. Mm -hmm. That was good. But your feet are too far apart. Right. That is better. And you stretch out arms and legs. Okay. Now you're opening this cross position, like an X. Thank you much. Is more possible or? Pardon? As much as possible? Or? No, just a perfect X. As if you would copy the position of your arms to your legs or vice versa. Now keep your legs outside rotated because then you feel at that point mm -hmm. you have a lot of, mm, let's say, a lot more to do, a lot more work to do. And now you uh, sliding to the right side with the hands over the ground, yeah, to the right <laughs> side. The right is there, exactly. Slide down, so your right arm is touching your right knee, and your left arm is coming over your head and also bending the elbow, so both hands showing downwards, if you want. And now you slide to the other side in the same position. Oh, I see. Yes. And try to bring this arm even more. And you can watch down to the knee where you're, where you're touching. Okay. And you slide back to the other side. Yes. And now, by sliding your right arm around your head, uh, circle wise around your hand on the ground, you take your shoulder or your roll from uh, stomach position to back position. 
start with your right hand sliding around your head and let it take you around. Exactly. More, more. And you bend your knees so you have a 90 degrees angle. And both of your arms go to the room diagonal position. So now they are almost 180 degrees, but you have to open more there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now your idea is bringing this knee and this shoulder oh. almost to the ground and stretch this, the left foot, to this room diagonal there. Okay? And if you exactly exhale, so take out the tension from the muscles around the spine. Good. Now, if you stretch your right foot in my direction and you let pull your uh, hips behind it, you can go back to the position from previous by taking the hips around and then the shoulder axis is following and you're coming around to the side where you have been before. Okay. Now you bring all of that to the left side. Slide to the left. Sit there. Now you take your left arm around your head on the ground, rotate of the shoulder axis mm -hmm. of your spine and your leg. And give it a little bit more angle here by bending more. And remember, going this way, exactly. You can watch the hand what is uh, what was moving. So your whole spine is rotated. And then starting, yes, and starting from the left foot, pushing to the left corner out there, you're pulling your hips and then your shoulder axis, and you come back to the position where you've been before. Exactly. So now, just listen first. Yeah. From this position, you want to lie on your left side, yeah. on the, the left side of your leg and the left arm on the side. Yeah. While that, your hands and your feet are pointing to the changing room yeah. uh, area. Okay, so rotate back and put yourself on the left side. Yes, go on, go on, and that's it. Okay. But now your back should be perfectly straight and right, um, right angle between your legs and your back and your back and your arms. So arms and legs should be parallel. Now your arms are faced a little bit like that. So if you need to pull your legs a little bit more up mm -hmm. and bring them. Okay. Now pull your toes towards your nose. Yes. And stretch your leg. The back here, this part should be further forward and lift it because otherwise it hangs. Because okay. mm. this part cannot be on the uh, the kidney part, cannot be on the ground. Perfect. Okay, so now you watch your upper arm, the right arm, and bring it to the other side. So yeah. lift your right arm, lift your right arm, watch it, and bring it to the other side, 180 degree to the other side, and watch it. Okay. And you feel already you want to bring up the right leg as well. So bring it up and take your left leg with you as soon as you feel it's necessary. Yes. Okay. And hold it exactly straight like that. Okay. But you don't need to lift your head. You can let it. And now, if you sit up, your feet and your hands are pointing to the window side of the dojo. So you continue uh, the to move in that direction where you've been moving. Put both legs on the ground and sit up by that. Oh, what to do with this arm? Both come to the same direction. Just sit up and close your legs to the direction where you've been going. Close your legs. <laughs> Completely. Yes. I like it. Okay, and now your arms go up and you start rolling from your low vertebrates. Start rolling them in and going on the back. As soon as you feel, you lift your knees so that your feet come flat on the ground. So bend your knees and roll on, roll on, roll on, roll on, go backwards, go backwards, go backwards. And put your arms behind you on the ground when the shoulders are on the ground. And put your feet flat, your feet, oh, the feet so goes there. And now try to bring down your arms completely. So also, even if they are stretched, you want to bring down completely on the ground. And you want to bring this part as well. Okay, to open up the 
pectoralis complete. It's not a relaxed <laughs> position, is it? Okay, it needs a lot of tension from the back bone, from the back muscle, it's okay. Now, for the next position, you have to sit up, stretch your right leg, room diagonal to the window side, mm -hmm. and grab with your both hands from outside mm -hmm. the inside of your knee. Okay. I come up and stretch at the same time my leg. Yes, you stretch your Yes, and come up, sit up, and grab your knee. And now try to stretch this, uh, the right leg completely, and make your back really straight. Ah, okay. Really straight. Now you have to figure out how far you have to put this foot to the front to hold the balance and keep that straight. Yeah, I, I guess because you're changing your position soon, you must put this foot a little bit further forward. Mm -hmm. Now you're opening your right hand, rotate it outside. So your palm comes fixed up and you look your hand, watch your hand while you're opening to the back as far as possible. Okay, then come back again, wrap again your knee and put your right foot on the ground and stretch out your arms and hang in your arms as if you would go into the or you would is wrong. This is hang in the You know this. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sailors, sailors, beds. I don't know what is the term in English. Sorry, I'm missing that. Okay, even your head is going down exactly. So your whole spine should be perfectly round. Okay. Now it's the other side. So you stretch out your left leg. Come up and try to stretch or straighten your spine again even more. And you're opening your left hand. Bring it to the back. Watch it. Okay, now bring the right foot as well up and try to keep the balance. <laughs> yes, close your feet. But yes, 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 come on, come on. And balance it out, balance it out. Very well. Come a little bit more to me here. Yes, now put your hand on the ground and roll on your stomach and further roll over your right side and to the back again. Yes, roll on your stomach and rotate further and further and roll on your back. <laughs> And pull your knees to your stomach. Yes. <laughs> and your both arms are perfectly uh, right angle, mm -hmm. 90 degrees of angles. And pull your knees down to your chest even more. Yes. Now stretch your legs okay. and pull your toes towards your nose. It's very good. Now you rotate a little bit to the left side from the lower vertebral and closing your feet. Hold them together. Bring down your legs very straight, slowly, and you will feel on this side there's a lot of power necessary. Yeah, don't forget to breathe. That's very good, very good, very good. Little lower, little lower, little lower, little lower, little lower, little lower, and go up, go back again. Pull them up. That's very tough. I know, but you can fight it through. Turn around to the other side. Okay. And bring down your legs at that position. Very good. Very good. Okay, and up again, slowly, slowly. Yes. Okay, and you come back to the middle. Take a little bit of energy of swinging your feet down and then backwards, and you decide of which shoulder you want to go backwards and bring yourself to a small package. You should be not to around. <laughs> now you can round on your, your back and relax a little. Next position, I think you should go at least two mats uh, towards the camera because we are getting smaller and smaller. People <laughs> don't see us anymore, but they need big glasses. Even further, even further. Yes, there is it. Okay, so there is your position. You can see it again. <laughs> now, you have to come a little bit forward as well, otherwise, you're Dropping out the, uh, the pictures. Okay, that's good. So now, the next position, I call it, you are like a table, like a couch table. Sorry. So you want to be perfectly straight in your spine from your neck till your uh, lower spine. Your arms are left and right side, and this part has to draw down. Pull your chest down to the ground a little bit and sit up a little bit more, but keep the balance. It's too high here. Go lower here. Yes. 
but don't fall to your nose. Okay. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> now you stand up on your knees. So you, you come up on your knees, come straight, come up, up. the knees stands, and bring your arms open in front. Very straight, okay. And the hands are turned this way. Stretch out. And now you bend backwards in your knees and bring down your right hand to the floor by turning to the right. Okay. Let flip your feet in my direction. What? Both of your feet come to me and you sit on the side and your hips going down. It's going down. It's like sitting on a canopy. Okay. Your arm is just on the ground and you try to bring hips. No, put it down to the ground. Put your hips down ah, to the ground. Completely. Yeah, it's completely. Okay. So you can even hang in this structure but bring your shoulder and hips and knees in one position now if you if you really want to hang in your arm you feel maybe here this has to be a little bit more tall. here is a lot of mm -hmm. stretching okay bring your hips a little bit more forward yes left side expression now by stretching the legs and swinging it on the other side you copy this position on the other side so you swing your legs around the, your front and sit in the same way, but on the other side. Okay, swing it around. Yes, you have to put a little bit more energy in. <laughs> okay, I'll show you one more time. But if you sit like here, you have to swing around by a little bit more energy to copy the, your yeah. place at that time. Do it again, come on. Yes, okay. Now, shoot. Almost. <laughs> Very good. So put your arm. Uh, okay, now your shoulder axis is a little bit out of line. Yes, this arm comes in. Try to hang really in this arm so the shoulder becomes loose. Here you want to have the maximum stretch. Okay, so now the next movement is that you swing your, your legs around the front to the back. And while that, you're landing on your stomach. Okay? Come on, it needs a bit I more see. energy. <laughs> yes! Oh, no. Okay, yeah, exactly. So put down the legs. And you can also bring your forehead down on the ground. Now, your left leg crosses your right leg towards my direction. What do you think? They just, no, they are exactly there where okay. they are. Perfect. So, Cross, yeah, but on the ground. Don't lift it uh, to the to the. Uh, on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Put your feet over the other feet on the ground. Yes, but don't turn too early. Just move your feet here. Okay, and move it on, move it on, move it on towards my direction. By moving in this maximum, you start to push up your upper body to come to sit. Yes. Even more, even more. Yeah. <laughs> Copy the position of your legs in your arms and then keep on rotating with your upper body into the direction you've been moving. Mm -hmm. Rotating, 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 rotating. Put your hands down and let that leg as slowly come after you by going on the ground and putting the hips down on the ground. Okay, stop. Just there. Okay. Yes, and now vice versa. The opposite direction. You start with this leg, going around, exactly. Sit up by that. You feel there's the stretching in the front and in the back. Opposite leg. And continue rotating. And go down on your stomach again after coming back to this position. Okay, now you stretch out to the X position. The X position. Like the beginning, palms flat on the ground and close again, like in the beginning. Feet are hip wide apart, hands are shoulder wide apart. Yes, that's it. Okay. Uh, wow. Intense. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I thought I'm very flexible. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really interesting. Especially I, and the rotation. rotation. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. And the interesting thing is that at the same time, you're actually training the muscles by positioning mm -hmm. or also movement 
why they have to work a lot, and stretching and uh, giving more flexibility to the joints and the whole hip belt. So that's, that's why I prefer this kind of practices instead of isolated uh, stretching or isolated muscle practices. Because it's uh, functional and yeah, very useful because mm -hmm. it's more uh, natural movement just because of your lying on the ground. It doesn't, it's not so obvious to see because it doesn't happen often that we are moving around on the ground in our daily life. But actually, if you would bring it up to stance, you would see a lot of motions, what we use in our heel while we're doing our kata, even if, if we are doing or if we are pressing it. Okay. Cool. One more time. Yes, please. Shall we go together? Um, can, yeah. you, can you see me and then copy me? Well, because you, the most of it you can see already, you've done it already once. Once. Yeah, <laughs> that's enough for you. Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm just thinking about how to lie down then. I think maybe I should lie a little bit in the front here, because then I don't go so far outside of the picture. You have to go a little bit further backwards, because otherwise I will hit you with my feet. Yes, and then maybe you can see a lot. Mm -hmm. I try to comment, but while I'm doing that, it's pretty hard <coughs> to comment. Yes, let's see. So, okay. Ready? Ready. I just take it. Okay. That's okay. So, from there, stretch out, X position. Swing to the right, swing to the left, and swing to the right again. And up, and around your head, sliding your arm around your head to go to this position. Okay, think about this diagonal positioning of your legs and your arms. And then bring back your feet, stretch out your feet. Come back to the right, swing over to the left side. And start rotating from there. And backwards again from the feet. Mm. We are off. Now we swing around to lie on the left side. Feet and legs to the uh, changing room floor. Open up your right hand, bring it to the window side. Watch it. Take the legs with you and sit up in this position as straight as possible, especially if we are hanging in our lower toes. It's not straight, it's impossible to sit straight. You have to come up to the hip bones for, uh, made for sitting. Now we go down and put down the arms behind us. Sorry, I have to. Okay, and we come up to sit and hold the right foot forward, stretch your back, open up your hands, rotate it to the back. There's my limit. Okay, and come back again, put down the feet and hang your arms, the shoulder blade, and come up again to the left side, stretch your back, open up your hands. Lift the same leg, right leg, also lift. <laughs> then put down the hand and roll over your front to your back. <laughs> Pull your knees, stretch out your heels, turn to the left, go down, 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 and up again. Up, 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 up. Okay, other side. Down, 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 and up again. Okay, and get a little and roll backwards. And you can round your spine, hang a little bit out, mm -hmm. and then you come up to make a plate. And stand up on the knees, stretch your arms, go backwards, rotate outside, and go down on the side. 
Now we are so far away from the camera, we should shift a little bit to the front, otherwise it's difficult to see. Okay, so now we swing to the other side. Hang in that arm. Now, around the stomach, we start to cross with the left, our right leg, putting ourselves up 36, and the stretching, rotate further. Oh. And backwards. The front, come to the X and close. Ah. Yes, done. Ah. Okay, so we don't need a daughter to do that, but it's good to have a daughter with mud. <coughs> okay, ah, I just see there's a, some people also from Hungary. Good workout for you guys. Yes, Birgit wrote, she knows that. I think she was once, I think a few years ago, we have done that in Friday class, where you haven't been there. But there, there had been, at that point, two or three students, and I said, okay, today, we're gonna to practice that to create more abilities in hmm? you, you haven't been there at that time. It's years ago. All right. Now it's time for questions, I would say, isn't it? If the people have tried that out, they could ask, or you can ask if you want, if you want to do it correctly. Is there any question? No. Okay, then you just repeat it one more time, and very, very fast. I help you through by telling you what to do next. You already remember in parts what to do. <laughs> so we, we try to take, to, Fast uh, work to do. Okay, come a little bit to my side. Okay, that's good. Okay, open up. Swing to the left. Right, swing to the left. Okay, and swing to the right again. Now rotate with your arm around your head. Pull yourself on the back. And go backwards from your feet. No, impulse comes from feet to rotate the body. Okay, and come to the side. Swing to the left side. And rotate again. Okay. And stretch your arms to the not uh, 180 degrees, 90 degrees apart from each other. Now, room here in And from your feet, you come back to your center. Okay, and you come to your left side, pointing your feet to the uh, changing room area, it's as well as the hands. <laughs> Rotate, you swing around there, put your hands and your feet like in this position. Yes! Okay, but now you have to come here, <coughs> pull up your feet a little bit, and then, don't forget. Okay. Now you open up your arm, your upper arms pointing to the window side. And take, come up. yes, take the leg with you, the right one. Come on, you can go, you can go further, 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 further. Second leg as well. And continue, continue going there, closing the legs. You push yourself up to sit, sit up now. Yes, and your arms coming high to the, uh, to the ceiling, okay, pointing up to the ceiling, okay. Now, start to roll your spine down. Yes, put yourself down on the, on the, on the back, arms come to the back, and everything goes down, elbows as well, as the lower spine, all of that is down to the ground. You have to change a little bit your direction, otherwise <laughs> you're not perfect. <clears throat> Now, you sit up straight, your back, and uh, stretch your, your right leg forward. Yeah, dragging cross. Now, stay there. Open up your right hand, 
Watch it while doing it, bring it to the other side and come back. And close. And now you hang in your arms. Around. And come again forward. Yes, left side. It's opening. Good. And both feet are elevated. And then your hand comes down on the ground. You roll over your front. Yes, come down. Roll over your front sideways. Yes. And continue rolling on your back and pull your knees from the chest. Yes. And your arms are stretched, not parallel. Make them straight. Okay, now stretch your legs. Close your heels. Turn to the left a little bit and bring down your legs. And go a little bit faster now. And up again. And to the other side. Down. And up again. Okay, and straight, take a little energy and swing them behind you, come over one shoulder to the <coughs> rounded position. Yes, exactly. And the next one was the tail, where you have to balance out yourself and make perfect straight back. So now your head is too low, come up with your low, but this part has to be brought down. Come up with your head a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. This has to be closed and stretched. Stretch your fingers out. Your palms, yes, and now stand up on your knees, knee stands, stretch to the loop. Okay, bend backwards on your knees and rotate to the side and sit on your hips on the side. And the arm comes down on your hips, and it's actually perfect because you're sitting exactly on this line of the tatami. So you have to bring both knees and hips and shoulder axis in one level. And then swing around to the other side. Yes! <laughs> and then a bit more. Yes. Your arm should be over your side. Exactly. And now you swing around to bring the feet to the back. And now crisscross your left over your right arm, uh, leg. Left leg crosses your mm -hmm. right leg. Yes. And stretch, 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 sit up wide into this maximum stretching. And rotate further. Let's mm. so go down on the ground. Close your legs at that position. Yes, and vice versa. Then across to the left. Mm. Sit up. Positioning. And continue. Yes, and you come to the X position. Yes. First, and then you close again. Okay. Yes, good. Mm. Well done. Yeah. Okay, let's see if there is some. There's no questions. So everybody <laughs> has a. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so you know already. Now you have done three times. You know already everything, right? I think we had so many pauses in my brain. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I would say we go one more time and I go really pretty fast and you have to pause. I mean, sometimes you can just see what I'm doing, but the most you can already know. So I, I will go really fast. And let's say we're going to be, uh, or we're going to do that fast times three times in a row. Okay? So three times I go very fast. It will take at least. Uh, one minute per work trip. Okay. Huh? <laughs> All right. So we start. I'm done already with the first thing. Will you come with them off the head? I'm waiting for you. Yes, go on, go on, go on. And go down. Sit up. Open. Come back on the Open the left side. Yes, both feet in the air. Go down. Good thing. Come up. Left side. Rotate. Rotate. You have to roll over your side. Roll, 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 roll. Which side? Yeah. 
the left hand comes on the ground. Ah. Bro, <laughs> I was holding my, <laughs> my legs like crazy in this position. Oh. And I'm already with the right side. Roll backwards. Oh. Damn, it's cow stable. Up. Rotate. And other side. And around. And cross the horse. Forward. That was the first time. Cross, oh. cross, cross. From there to the cross, cross, and close. Yes, that was the first time. Okay. Okay. Come a little bit forward again. <laughs> One more time. And don't hesitate. Watch a little bit what I'm doing where I am. If you get lost, just follow me. <sighs> Ready? Okay. Open. Swing. 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 Rotate. Okay, good. On the side. And back. On the side. And open, 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 open. To the roof. And up. And then come up to the seat. Open the hand. Come back on this. Left side. And both feet up. And down, roll. And on the back. Stretch your legs to the left. To the right. And roll backwards. Table. Knee stands. Sideways. Other side. On the floor. Sit up. Other side. And stretch out the legs. And close. Okay. Last time. Uh, one more time, and that's the last one. Yeah. Then everybody knows. Exactly. Shall we show a different position? No, okay. no, it's fine. No, we show, yeah, you can stay there, but now we start from this position. Okay. Or maybe from this position. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Ah, all right. Uh, I have to think about that and that. Yeah. If we are coming, so I start a little bit further here. Yeah? Okay, ready? Yeah. Off we go. It's... Rotate. Back. Outside. Rotate. Back. On the side. Elevate your legs. Come up. Oof. Sit down, lie down, and up again. Open the hands, be front to the camera. And in your arms, other side, open. Second leg is also up, and rotate or roll from this side to this position. Legs up, down to the ground. Other side. And get some energy. <laughs> Up. Oh, sorry. I forgot the table. <laughs> sorry. Up. Sideways. Other side. On the floor. And sit up. Patient. Go backwards. That was it. Yeah. 
All right. Thank you. I think it has a lot of benefits to practice that. First of all, you have a good contact to the ground. <laughs> so you know exactly how does it feel and how much support it gives to you. As you can always do it. And as I said, it brings a lot of flexibility to your core and also strength. And that's a very nice combination. It's not about, mm, let's say, maximum power. It's about having flexibility and energy at the same time while moving. So that's uh, what we need in IQ as well. Coordination is something as well, yes, true. Yeah. Well, yeah, so it was a little bit unusual class today. I hope you could enjoy. In about 10 minutes, we're going to start the Zoom meeting on the same uh, idea. It's my personal idea and it's public, so you can join in if you want from wherever you are watching, even Hungary, if you like. And um, yeah, it's enough for me today. <laughs> Enjoy and see you soon, hopefully very soon. Stay healthy and uh, take care. Thank you, Silvia, for joining. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu.